Hello and welcome to The Daily Edit. I'm your host, Todd Middlebrooks. Today we're going to talk about Snapseed, how to download it, and how to make your initial edits, uh, basic edits, in this mobile editing application. So stay tuned. So first of all, I want to thank everyone who has either followed or liked uh, the Daily Edits Facebook page. I appreciate all the positive feedback that we've gotten so far. Um, so initially, before we get started in Snapseed, I want to talk just generally about photography and how um, it enables us to provide a little bit of perspective. So, so why take photos at all? I mean, what's the big deal about capturing uh, images? Um, one thing that, that's kind of hit me recently uh, with all that's going on in the world is that, you know, perspective is critical and the, and the more uh, perspective and understanding we have of each other, the better off we all are uh, for it. Uh, with photography uh, specifically, it's, uh, it's fascinating that only you can capture any given moment. So in any given time and place, uh, only you can capture what you're seeing uh, with your your perspective. Uh, to me, that's that's both fas fascinating and and kind of uh, I don't know reassuring that um, I don't know it's it's kind of a powerful thought that only you can capture that particular moment in that particular place and time. Um, so there's a lot of responsibility there, you know, uh, if you want to remember it, if you want to share it, if you want others to experience uh, that moment or that place through your eyes, or through your perspective, photography is a great way to do that. Um, it's a positive, very creative outlet and uh, something that we, we could really use uh, right now. I did want to share uh, a quote from one of my favorite photographers, Joe McNally. He said, we make pictures. At the end of the day, we create something potentially significant that did not exist at the beginning of the day. To me, that's powerful. And I'd heard that quote before, but it's this part that seems relevant now as well. Uh, we go forward despite the uncertainty because this is an act of love and passion which defies reason and prudence. To me, that's, uh, that's a powerful statement about photography. And uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to, uh, to, to share my knowledge of photography and editing uh, with, with all of you. So let's get right into it. Uh, we're gonna download Snapseed. I've got links in the description uh, for both the App Store and the Google Play Store to the Snapseed app. But all you've gotta really do is go to the App Store and search for Snapseed. You can see the icon here. It's the, uh, the seed leaf looking icon there. Um, and then you'll download that. And I've got it currently in my photography folder. And once you launch the app, uh, this is the screen that you're presented with. Um, there's lots of ways um, to, to bring an image into Snapseed. But we're gonna just start with the big plus button because that's what's presented to you first. Um, and if you click on that, you can see that you can open from the device, you can capture a new image from the camera, or you can open the latest image that you captured with your device's camera. And so I'm going to go back and find here a recent uh, nature photo that was taken over the weekend in the mountains. Uh, just a some of these I've edited already, and some I have not. This one. I think would be good because it needs it needs a little bit of work. So let's get right into it. Um, when you first load in an image, this is the screen you'll see. Um, you have the option for looks, which are kind of like presets. You have tools at the bottom and you have export. And those are the three main options at the bottom. Typically what I'll do is launch right into tools because each image is different and unique in the way that it needs to be edited. Um, in this episode, we're gonna talk about just basic edits, which can be found in the tune image, and then a couple of other steps that I take on just about every single image, regardless of the edit uh, or the style. Um, 
and those will be coming up shortly. So I'm going to click on Tune Image. And just a few general tips for Snapseed. Uh, if you press and hold on an image, you'll see the before and after. So all of the edits that you've made since importing the image. So it'll, it'll go back and show you the original image and then all of the cumulative edits. Um, so at the bottom, you'll see the magic wand. And if you click on that, that auto adjusts the image. Sometimes, depending on the image and the light and the, uh, the highlights and shadows that are in the image, it'll make more of an auto adjustment than, than at other times. Uh, you'll see it didn't do a whole lot to this image. Uh, if I press, in fact, you can, it's negligible, the difference. Um, so, but once we're, you know, once we're in this tool, we can still do other things besides auto correct. So if you press uh, on the image and then scroll up, you're presented with all the options in that tool. And you can just scroll up and down to see those various options. Uh, once you select the option that you want to edit, the adjustment that you would like to make, then it's highlighted at the top and you'll see that we're adjusting the brightness. And you have a meter to the left for negative brightness or to the right for positive. So to me, this image is a little bit bright, so I wanna bring it down to about there and that takes care of my brightness and for landscape <clears throat> excuse me landscape photography in general uh, you can handle a little bit more contrast and a little bit overall sharpness for that matter um, so i'm going to bump up the contrast here which basically brings down the brights brings up the shadows and creates a little more interest in the photo same for uh, saturation now, all of these are subjective and will depend on the photo and, and what you're trying to um, ultimately create and how you want it to look. Um, but one of, one of the great things, this is just a little side note, all edits in, uh, all the edits in Snapseed are non-destructive. And what that means is that, well, it means a couple things. So it means that any time while you're editing, you can go back to any point that you've uh, made changes and revert to that stage. So if you've made 10 changes and the last five you didn't like, you could go back midway, undo those last five and still be uh, five steps into your photo edit. Also means that once you export that image, you can reopen it at any time in Snapseed and have access to all those changes as well. So even once you save and export, uh, even though you can save it over the original or as a copy, either way, those edits are non-destructive, meaning you can go back at any time and reopen and re-edit that same, that same photo. And it does not overwrite the original photo. So back to our image here. Uh, we've adjusted our saturation uh, to an acceptable point. Now the ambience, again, that's going to depend on your personal preference. It kind of modifies the areas around the subject of the image. Uh, the highlights could come down just a little bit and the shadows, I want to make the shadows a little more pronounced. And again, this is all subjective. If you press and hold, now you can see the before and after. I think the brightness may could come down even a little more, create a little more mood there. And there we go. And once you've got those basic edits in the tune image, then you can hit the check button on the bottom right of the image, and that will save all the changes that you've made in that tool. The next thing I would typically do is crop the image and certain edits need to be done before other edits. So I always usually typically will add a vignette to the image and uh, that just kind of helps to focus the eye to the center of the image or to the area of the image where you've placed the vignette. Um, but I do not do that until I've cropped it because it will base the vignette on the crop. And for this image, for instance, uh, I've selected a 16 by 9 or a 9 by 16 crop as if to post it to an Instagram story 
uh, for instance. So uh, once I have my crop selected, I can move it around the image. I can actually zoom in just by pinching on the corner there uh, and then pinch, uh, pressing and sliding back and forth to select the crop. I want just enough to get that railing out of there and then kind of still preserve the rule of thirds there with the, uh, the waterfall. Then I'll select the checkbox. And once again, we can preview our before and after, before and after, and it's looking pretty good. It's got a little more pop to it. And the last thing that I would do here is go down to the vignette. Again, this is just for a basic edit. I will get into more complicated and more complex edits later. But uh, you take two fingers and pinch and in and out as if to zoom and you can resize. You can actually move around the vignette. But if I wanted to highlight the waterfall there, pinch and zoom and then you can control the outer brightness to about there and you can actually control the inner brightness as well although uh, our exposure was pretty well set on the waterfall there to begin with so there you have it uh, there's the before and there's the after uh, now this all that's left to do now is to export this image and once again these are non-destructive edits you have the uh, the share button here on iOS and the ability to open it in another app or you can simply save it uh, which saves it to your camera roll or you can save a copy uh, you can also export a copy if you choose to export it will create a copy with permanent changes now that those that image that you export at that point is uh, finalized and is not a non-destructive image, and, um, but it is a copy. So you could always open up the image uh, again and reapply your edits. Um, along those same lines, if you did like this edit and want to apply it to future images, or you had a series of images that you took at the same time that you wanted to achieve the same look, you could go back to the looks tab at the bottom and scroll over and hit the plus button there and that will create a new look that you can name and then that look is available on future images so all you have to do is import the image apply the look and export it and it makes it uh, really easy to achieve the same look on multiple images so i'm just going to go ahead and save a copy of this one and this one I will post up on the uh, Daily Edit Instagram story. So feel free to check that out. And uh, that's all I've got for today. I want to thank you for tuning in. Um, this show, the, we plan to go live every day on weekdays, every weekday at 5 p.m. for now. Uh, if a better if it comes out that a better time works out better for our audience, then we'll go that route. But for now, it's weekdays at five. Uh, please feel free to join us right here on Facebook. Give us a follow and a like and share it if you think you know of someone that it can benefit. Thanks for tuning in to the Daily Edit. I have been your host, Todd Middlebrooks, and see you again next time.